Okay, so this is the plan for your retaining wall. Um, your land is very slope and it has a bunch of old lumber, which we want to remove as much as possible because all lumber, as it rottens, it collapses. So we want to, without digging too deep, we want to clean up all that. Then we're gonna we're gonna be using this post a six by six. What you're seeing in red is gonna be concrete. We always want to have a little bit of a bedding of concrete so there is not direct contact. Uh, we're gonna fill it up about. We're gonna dip uh, anchor them in the earth about well, three feet deep. Um, the uh, uh, retaining wall is going to be built with four by sixes. So those are going to be four by sixes, four being the deep, six being the high. We, what you're seeing there in blue is the 57 gravel. We're going to do a little bit of a bedding before the first four by six. Again, the idea is to, you know, help with water flow and avoid direct contact. Oh, clearly it's a retaining wall. There will be certain direct contact, but you just want to avoid as much as possible. Um, so we're, you know, what are you seeing in red here? It's also still something called geofabric. The geofabric, what it does is it protects the earth going into the 57 drainage and affecting the drainage system. This is a corrugated, perforated drainage hose that is also going to have a sock so it's basically a sock covered in it that is going to be on the bottom of the retaining wall all fill up around gravel we're going to have about two to three feet fill of gravel behind the retaining wall and we're going to convert it then with the geofabric so again the dirt that we put on top does not go into the uh, drainage system so if you if you see this is imagine this is your pool uh we're gonna you so all your retaining wall is about 85 feet everything in red is the drainage system so we're gonna have a whole your, your retaining wall is kind of gonna look like that gonna have an angle here and then we're gonna have the two drainage systems going to the natural slope of the land i hope this helps